Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands and in today's video I'm going to be covering everything that is releasing in week 15 of Supreme's spring summer 2023 collection. Welcome back guys, it's that time of the week again, time to cover the latest weekly drop of Supreme New York's Spring-Summer 2023 season. As mentioned in that intro, it is of course week 15 this week. We do have an idea on what kind of pieces we're going to be getting for week 15, as we recently covered in a sneaker talk video, the collaboration with Vans that we're getting in this week. Beyond that, we'll of course be getting some seasonal pieces well. What we'll cover in today's video is the release details, the collaborative pieces, seasonal pieces, my thoughts and opinions on all the pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on the week as a whole. How we're going to cover all that is, of course, by using the same page we use every single time, Supreme Community. Let's head on over there now, and we'll start covering the release details for week 15. Here we are at the Supreme Community page that we're gonna be using today, guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you wanna vote on the items yourselves. Quickly cover those release details I just mentioned before. The items releasing in week 15 will release on the 1st of June, 2023. They'll have an online release 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the US, 4 p.m. British Standard Time in the UK, and 5 p.m. Central European Standard Time for the EU. Now, two days after, on June 3rd, they will be dropping it in Japan, and that'll drop 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time in store and online. If you guys have any further questions on when and where it's dropping, comment section below, hit me up on Instagram, let me know. Uh, I'll try and help you out the best I can. Uh, now that we've covered when and where it's dropping, we've got to cover the what. Let's get into it. We'll do it as we always do it by going through these individual sections here. We've got quite a few different sections this week. Let's kick off week 15 with the collared shirts. Uh, this way, for some reason. Normally they're next to each other. But anyway, we'll work with it. We'll work with it. We've got the trademark jacquard denim shirt. Um, okay. 148 bucks if like someone was selling a second hand one for 48 bucks yeah but for this kind of price um i'm happy to miss out on it i'm not going too crazy for it next we've got the magazine short sleeve shirt i like it all over print shirts you can see my vast collection of over print all over print shirts up there i love them they're perfect for summer you can just throw them on or you can wear them over the top of tank tops. There's various different ways that you can wear them. They always look nice. I like it in both the colored and the gray scale. Uh, one, I, I'm fine with either colors. It's fun to have the Supreme uh, magazines there kind of like slapped on the front of it. It's a fun time. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Um, I don't know what the material is though. We'll bust that out. Ah, ah, I, viscose, if I'm pronouncing that correctly very very flowy and lightweight um much like rayon um or silk very much like that uh very nice very nice for linings of jackets and stuff as well solid material uh again just another reason for me to give it a thumbs up but yeah just a nice little piece all around wouldn't mind picking that one up um i can now see why it's 150 us dollars um no complaints with that i'm definitely on board with that one thumbs up for me Next we got the hats, doing this weird situation as well. Uh, we got the Embroidered Brim Crusher. Uh, like the black, the navy is okay. I'm so on the fence about it. I think I'll leave it as a no, but I don't hate it. Next we got the Suede Visor Camp Cap. I like this. Solid color offerings, looks very nice. I like the Suede Visor. That's a thumbs up for me. That's a very nice hat. We got the racing six panel. I think this is actually okay. You know, like Supreme inspired racing um, logos. They've reinterpreted a bunch of famous racing logos and I guess Supremified them. It's it's fun. 54 bucks. I'll give that a thumbs up. Next we got the magazine camp cap. I don't mind this one as well. That's a nice little camp cap. 
I don't think it should be the most upvoted hat this week though. I think something like the suede visor camp cap should get a little bit more love uh, and the racing six panel should get a little bit more love. I would like to see this be number one, this be number two, and this be number three in all honesty. So we've got the pants, the trademark jacquard baggy jeans, uh, 188 bucks. Again, like if someone was selling the blue or black ones for like 88 bucks, yeah, for this, I'm happy to do without. I'll just uh, happily leave that one as a downvote there. So we got the uh, Vans or the shoes. So we got the Vans Skate Grosso Mid coming in three different colors. We got the black, we got the gray, we got the pink. I was not a huge fan of them, and I think that you should grab a black Sharpie and scribble over where the $1 is and make it look like a much better design. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put it as a down vote for the Grosso Mids. The Vans Dollar Errors, they're fine. Like, they're all right, 100 bucks, okay, okay, whatever. But all in all, I would much rather spend the money that it is costing for these two on just like some very basic Converse All-Stars um, as an alternative, as an alternative. I, I, honestly, I, I don't need these and I could spend the money elsewhere and get something that I I think I'd prefer. Next, we've got the Piping Arc Hooded Sweatshirt. We'll click into that one because it's the only one releasing this week. So we've got brush back fleece with chenille embroidered logo and vinyl graphic applique. Okay, let's have a look at that, see if we can get some shots. So front and back graphic, we've got Supreme on the chest there. Um, we've got 94 on the back there. So from my understanding, the Supreme lettering on the front, that's gonna be your fuzzy chenille embroidery on the chest there. You can see that piping design coming up alongside the panels here. On the back, you've got, like it mentions there, that vinyl graphic. So it's gonna seem kind of glossy, um, kind of crinkly, I suppose. And then you got that like piping graphic coming uh, along the back there. Look, I think it's okay. It's um, the color options though. Let's just get those back up. It, it could have been a really big hit if we got better color options. The color options that we got are okay, but I think we could have been better. I think we could have done better. But all in all, it's a fine Supreme hoodie. It's a fun like, uh, you know, logo one. If you're into that type of thing, this is nice, but I'll leave it as a thumbs up. Can't really complain about this one too much. Next, we've got the Supreme Umbro hooded hand rack. Uh, features some nice paneling. Well, um, I'll give this one a thumbs up just preemptively, but we'll click into it as well to just dive into it further. So it's a collaborative piece, water resistant poly with light fill uh, uh, taffeta lining, half zip closure with hidden Velcro uh, placket, zip pouch pocket, there's a lot of details here at lower front, zip, <laughs> covered zip chest pockets. Is there? I can barely see it. Interior elastic shock cord at fixed hood and hem. So you can have the hem brought in or you can have the hood brought in if you're, if you're a little bit smaller. Uh, look, the color offerings, very nice. Nice color offerings for this ANRAC. Um, could have gotten rid of that Supreme branding and just put a little logo above it, but that's just me. Nice co-branding there. Good color options. You know, there's. I'm nitpicking saying they need to remove that Supreme logo there. Like that's the only thing I could really fault it on. The panels are fine, the color offerings are fine, you know, just a thumbs up. I have to nitpick to try and find something wrong here. I think it's okay. It's not a piece for me, but I know a lot of you guys out there will be keen on that one. Tops slash sweaters. we got the Gradient Mesh Stripe Jersey. Uh, I'll agree with the Supreme community on that one. we got the Mustang Reversible Basketball Jersey. I don't even need to know what it reverses into because I just, I agree. I just agree. And we got the Kurt Cobain sweater. Um, I'm a bit, look, okay, here we, here we go. We're talk, talking about Kurt Cobain. I would much rather the undercover reinterpretations of his iconic red and uh, black striped sweater over this one. And Undercover has done it many times throughout many seasons and many other uh, clothing brands have reinterpreted that sweater. I would prefer something like that over this one. Um, 
Obviously, you guys feel very differently to it. I think I'm just going to leave it as a downvote, though. I just, I wouldn't want to wear something like this. This just, I don't know. It's not, it's not hitting for me. Again, I, I, if I wanted to, you know, shout out Kurt in an outfit in some way, I'd be more in line on buying that iconic sweater versus something like, this. just personally. And I, th I think I'll leave it at that. Next, we got the shorts. We got the gradient mesh stripe shorts. They're going to be a downvote. Next, we got the nylon water shorts. Comes in some fun colors there. I could wear that. No complaints whatsoever. <laughs> some very, very wacky accessories this week. We've got the 34 inch porcelain Jaguar with a little supreme hit on the side for 1500 USD. God damn. <laughs> That's a lot of money for a for a big porcelain Jaguar. Uh yeah, I think I'm I'm alright on that one, fellas. If I had 1500 I could buy some very nice clothing with that kind of money. I could do a lot with that kind of money, in all honesty. Uh would I spend it on the Supreme Porcelain Jaguar? Probably not. But each to their own. You guys are big fans of this one, obviously. I think I'm gonna leave this accessory as a downvote. Next, we have the Supreme James Brand Palmer Utility Knife, it's 78 bucks. It's like a fun little, like, you know, three, four inch um, blade that probably retracts. Things for like using like cutting boxes and stuff. In all honesty, it probably would be ideal for me to pick up something like this so I could do all my unboxings on the channel, which I do actually have an unboxing that I want to do on the channel. So it would have some use, although that is a bag I can just rip open, but anyway. Uh, yeah, like I, I would have some use for that. I would give that one a thumbs up. Next we have the Tonal Logo Towel. Um, it comes in a blue, red, and green. Solid color offerings. No complaints with the Tonal Towel. We'll give it a thumbs up. It's a nice little accessory there. And uh, yeah, well that looks like it wraps up all of, uh, yeah, all of week 15, guys. How do I feel about week 15 as a whole? Uh, I'll agree with my statement that I've been saying over the past couple weeks. Post week 10, this season has not been hitting that much for me. Like, the magazine sh short sleeve shirt is probably my favorite piece this week. The suede visor camp cap is a nice piece for me. I can appreciate the umbro hooded anrak. Not for me, though. Uh, what else is there? Uh, that might be it. Oh, actually, the racing six panel is nice. Like, I pick up the knife and just have some fun with it, but, you know, like, okay. Uh, yeah, it's just, just strange. Very, very strange. I don't know why the week has, uh, sorry, the season has taken such a dive, but, um, look, maybe you guys are really keen on this week because you really want the towel, the knife, the Vans, or the, uh, Kurt Cobain sweater. For me, I, I could skip out on this week and uh, happily enjoy my new pickups that I'm going to be unboxing very shortly, but that's just me, I suppose. Um, yeah, well, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this week, guys. Is it a hit for you? Is it a miss for you? Let me know what your thoughts are on week 15 down in that comment section below. Well, we've covered everything to do with the week, guys. We covered the release details. It's dropping on the 1st or 3rd of June, depending on your region. Uh, it's We've covered the seasonal pieces, the collaborative pieces, my thoughts and opinions on the individual pieces and the week as a whole. Now I want to hear from you guys on what you're going to be picking up from week 15 if you're looking to snag something. Are you going to go for the Vans collaboration? Are you going to go for the Kurt Cobain sweater? Are you going to go for that massive 34 inch uh, porcelain Jaguar for 1500 <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, maybe some of you guys are into that. If you want it, whatever you're looking to grab, let me know what you're going to be picking up down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming spring weeks, seasons, and collaborations, just got to give me the three indicators I won't shut up about. Cheers, a like on the video, comment in that comment section down below and the best indicator of them all if you haven't already subscribe to the channel as mentioned in the previous uploads we have just hit the subscriber milestone of 3645 we are five subs away from hitting the next one of 3650 hopefully with your guys continuous support we'll be able to reach that milestone for the end of june 
that's everything I really got to say about this uh, upcoming week, guys. I do wish you the best of luck if you are going for something from this week. Hopefully you can pick it up in the size and color you are after. But uh, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next stream video, until the next drop list video in general, guys. Catch you later.